Now, the actor Ruth Wilson, famed for her roles in Luther and his dark materials, is back on our screens, this time in a series exploring one of Ireland's biggest scandals. The Woman in the Wall tells the story of the Magdalene Laundries and looks at the psychological effects of the abuse suffered by many women and girls in the state-funded church-run homes. Our arts and entertainment correspondent, Katie Spencer, has more. A gothic thriller set against the backdrop of one of the most traumatic and formative scandals in the modern Irish state, the Magdalene Laundries. Ruth Wilson stars in the drama written by Joe Murta, which explores the psychological effects of the horrific abuse suffered by many thousands of Irish women and girls in state-funded church-run homes. This character is so brilliantly unusual and but deeply human. These deep repressed memories that come out and this trauma that comes out uh, in sleepwalking. What was paramount was authenticity and sensitivity and to make sure we were never ever veering towards exploitation. We talked about women being locked up. Survivors of the homes talk openly about suffering trauma to this day. From at least 1922 through to 1996, about 10,000 so-called troubled women, including unmarried mothers and abuse victims, were imprisoned against their will in what were essentially religious workhouses. Any children taken away from them. The first Mission Impossible was released when the last mother and baby home was closed. So that's that's how recent it is. And that time you, you were in a Catholic school. As, is that strange um, to think that this was going on at the same time as um, you were sort of yes, in yeah, an institution? I, yeah, you know. I was going to Blur concerts. I was having a great time. For women in Ireland, it was a different story. For some women in Ireland, it was a different story. Hopefully, it never happens again. But that's the only way you stop it from happening again is by telling it in the first place. One woman who was pivotal in making the wider world more aware was singer Sinead O'Connor, who spent a short spell in one of the homes aged 14. As a young star, the public backlash she experienced in taking a stand was immense. Now, since her death, she's been praised for her bravery. Hypocrisy. It was absolute hypocrisy, is what it was, about, about the, the way that she was vilified. She was bold and brave and had huge courage to be able to stand up and say that stuff. If there's one common thread connecting the roles Wilson plays, from Luther to the affair to his dark materials, it is the complexity of the characters she gravitates towards. I kind of want people to be triggered. <laughs> I mean, everyone's like, don't trigger people. No, mm. put a trigger warning. I was like, no, no, just let them be triggered. That's the point of art, to me. You know, feel something. Be made to think, be made to feel. For Wilson, this latest drama is not only unconventional and unsettling, it is a means to help people understand the horrific abuse many thousands of women are still processing. Coming to terms with what happened, perhaps the major event in the country's secularisation. Katie Spencer, Sky News.